so there are many reasons why I've been missing in action and haven't fulfilled my promises to you. A, but one, <laughs> I haven't been reading because B, I've had extra children. You try getting five children, dinner, bath, bed, and then up, breakfast, school uniforms, brush teeth, oh, homework. There's a new, new thing we've never experienced before. And out the door, on time. Not easy to do. Three, oh, look at my fingernail polish. Tried to pick it off. Probably needs an nail polish remover. Three, there was a thing called a polar blast, which is which was wind as cold as ice. I'm, I cannot tell you how cold it was. I, it was cold and it came up and there was snow everywhere except for us. It was just bloody cold. And I spent that polar blast in a caravan in the middle of a horse field at a horse event. To cope with that, I didn't read. I followed children around and with jackets and beanies and boots and sh sort of maneuvering them out of the wind. Oh God, that was cold. And then I drank scotch. <laughs> to warm my insides. And drinking scotch and reading don't really go well together. So, today is the first day without the icy winds. It is Tuesday morning and I am so thankful. My lips are recovering. I, I was cold to my bones. I can't tell you how cold that was. Yesterday I spent out of the wind, inside, gaining control. And for me that means really deep cleaning my kitchen. I'm so boring. <laughs> and today I'm just spending time out in the sun and just enjoying being outside. So without having to battle just freezing winds. But I missed you guys. You should see this really cool spider's web. Hang on. Look at that. There must be a spider inside. Doris, don't look. I don't know what I was saying. I think it was that I missed you guys, so. I intend to zoom through my house now that everybody's gone to school and take a breath and do some reading today. Just a little self-care is needed, I think. And that's where reading comes in. I don't know where I'm up to with all of those books. I have no idea, but I'm not, there's, you know, no pressure. My buddy reads are under control, I think. I have a little bit, no, I have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> but I've given myself no buddy read, no new buddy reads this week. Just continuing on with the few that I've got. So I've got time to catch up. I'm, I'm cool. No stress. But I do feel like I need to sit down with a good book. And I know which one I'm going to pick up. So when I do, I'll let you know. I have to go and keep cleaning now. Bye. This is me for the next 40 pages. Just in one of my happy places. This book and especially this particular part of the book is making me smile, which my buddy Heidi told me it would. It's just gorgeous. Anyway, I'm just going to sloth around. Oh. Oh. Right, shitty vlogger, shitty reader today, but that's how life is going right now, right? Um, accomplishments today. I got up to date with Barkskin and checked in with Heidi, which was lovely. I started reading The Essex Serpent and um, it's so good. I love that book. So yeah, I've done that. Um, I washed five loads of washing. That's an accomplishment, right? I set up internet in our granny flat. That's an accomplishment. And I now have five boys at home and I'm making dinner for them all now. So maybe some reading will come along later in the day, but one of those days, huh? We will check in tomorrow. We will chat tomorrow. And if I read something tonight, I'll let you know, but I plan on having wine <laughs> after all of this. After getting through this dinner, I think I'll deserve a wine. <sighs> Deep breaths. I'll talk to you later. Hey. <laughs>
Oh, what a beautiful morning. It's a gorgeous day again. It's been a full on morning. I need some earrings on. Earrings make me feel like I can handle anything. Anybody else for lunch? We got red today. Yeah. Oh, a mess. So I got five children up and dressed and breakfast and lunches and out the door. Go, mate. Exhaustion is real. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only 8.30 in the morning. Oh, God. But I did a couple of bits of reading that I wanted to talk about. I got up to date with Barkskins. I don't know if I told you that yesterday. I had a, The part that we just read was really a bit of a comic interlude. I think it's a very clever... This is quite a heavy book about, you know, white colonisation and the absolute demolition of... A beautiful culture in the Indian culture anyway um, so it's, it's heavy themes and then there was this really kind of comic goofy he was a murderer actually it's not really comic is it anyway so that was really really enjoyable and then I finished part two of the Essex Serpent last night um, and checked in with my buddy Joe um, I'm still enjoying the writing a lot. Like, I, I, you know, this sounds like I'm not liking it. I am liking it. There's just a lot going on at the moment. And uh, yeah, this section to me was just an introduction of a lot of different stories and themes. And I hope that she pulls it all together because right now I'm kind of rattling around in amongst them all. But the saving grace is that in amongst them all is they're good stories and they're good themes and it's good writing so that's keeping me interested uh today is a bit of a work day um i need to do that for sure um but i started reading the next part of conditions of faith last night it's such a bad book no it's not bad it's it's just not good, <laughs> but it's not bad enough to DNF. I want to know how, whether he redeems himself. My buddy Michelle has already finished, and from her comments, I don't think he does redeem himself. But So, yeah, I started reading this. I've probably got another, not long, 20-something pages to finish this part. Um, there, I don't know if you can see, so I might give that a go now. I just need to sit down for a minute. I haven't had any breakfast. I feed everybody else and not myself. Ugh. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I'll just do this and chat with you when I finished this. See whether the next 20 pages help. I don't think they're going to. Oh, just put it back with disgust. <laughs> no. I just finished that part and checked in with my buddy Michelle. I mean, and what I said to her, I, this book has such promise, you know, like we, we just had this really good discussion. This woman's pregnant and we had this really good discussion about, you know, her husband forbidding her from continuing her studies and her, you know, the social thought that it's selfish for her to keep going with her work when she should be resting in bed all day. And, um, yeah, you know, her having to work out how to you know, have the baby and still have herself. So there are lots of great themes. And then right at the end, we were throwing this crazy curveball that didn't even make sense. You know, like just, just got let down. This could have been a fantastic part for me, but then they throw in some, oh, it just frustrates me. I have maybe 150 pages left of this book and I just, I do want to finish it. But I think like I'm just getting my hopes up constantly with it. I'm going to put it down for a bit. I need some distance from the book. I'll pick up something else in a sec. I'm hungry. Hi, I'm all over the place vlogging. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm just about to leave. Yesterday was, was an okay day. Just an okay day, <laughs> so that's why. Not much chatting to you guys, but that's all right. What do I have? What have I done? What have I read? Oh, um, 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 um. I finished. I finished a book. I need to talk about that. Oh, gosh. Right. I 
finished The Arsonist yesterday. It was wonderful. This is a five-star book. Um, finally. <laughs> finally. What do I love about this book? I love that there was, there was no bias. Like, it was just really good journalism. We were presented with the victims and constantly reminded of their battle. Constantly. So that that was always... So that that was always something that you remembered because when you move into who the man who got charged with the arson, he has a sad story, like a really sad story. And so you can get lost in that. And when the verdict is read, I was invested. I didn't know. I mean, it's so high profile this, but I didn't know. <laughs> and I just was so invested in what was going to happen to him. But I was, it, it worked through all of that. But at the end, we were left with a story of the victim just to make sure that we always understood that 173 people lost their lives. So many more people lost their homes and their you know, their livelihoods. Like it's just a sad, sad story. The understanding of what a bushfire actually means and the ripple effect that it has was something that I gained from this book. I didn't did not understand that at all. Um, but you know, you lose your homes, but how that rebuilding process is so hard. So in this area was a, a paper mill and the fire ran all the way through the plantation for the paper mill. So the paper mill had to shut down. And with that, so many people lost their jobs and it has become an area where these people have had to rely on welfare. And with that, a lot of social issues that come with that. So the ripple effect of the bushfire was really surprising to me and just so sad, just so sad. Um, it got five stars because of the writing. Chloe Hooper is, is brilliant at presenting a story, brilliant at mixing fact with emotive words and emotive writing and I felt everything and I feel like I know everything. So I just, it was just so well done. So I finished that yesterday. That was lovely. Five stars. I don't know if you could get this anywhere else in the world, but if you do see it, pick it up. It's really good. And then I started trying to finish um, Conditions of Faith. And I am, I've got just that little bit to go, probably 50 pages. It's crap. Like, <laughs> I think I've spoken about this, but I do want to finish it and just see how it's all wrapped up. So I would love to get that done today. Today we are packing up to go camping again. So I've got the caravan to pack. I'm just racing out now to get some food and things and do some cooking today. And yeah, that's kind of my day. We will work out, I'm just kind of, could of getting through the pile oh, which way starting that way <laughs> I'm just kind of getting through the piles as I can um but yeah I'd like to just sort of make sure that these are all up to date and then move on to these and you know I always have plans and life gets in the way so I've just started stopped making the plans I think for now and I will just read what I can when I can and that seems to be working. I've got to go and get some jobs done and I'll talk to you when I'm reading some more again. Sorry this is a bit all over the place but Natalie's life huh? Okay bye. Alright I'm back now. This is my camper kind of. So I've got to fill these cupboards up with what I've bought and I'll show you the back of my car. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs>
just what I've done for the last few hours, which is cook my butt off and pack the caravan. I'm not finished yet. There's still cooking to do, but Denny went to get the kids ages ago and to do some jobs, and I just haven't taken that time to sit and read because they're going to be home soon, and we all know what that means. <laughs> Ugh. I'm going to finish this book. I just need it out of my life. If I have to take it away with me, that'll make me really angry. <laughs> So let me um, finish off the last whatever bit if I can before the kids get home and then we can talk. I still have to make a cake and a curry and spaghetti bolognese. Oh my God, look at that. Let's ignore it and just read. Okay. Ugh. That was an emotional end to a book I didn't connect with. <laughs> but it was an end that tugged at my mama heartstrings and made me just cry in disbelief. Really? It all ties up at the end, in a way. This author wrote this book based on his mother's journals. And I guess that he was the child in this book. And so that's what happened to him. I still think that it was very clear that it was a male writing for a woman. I don't think that this author filled in the gaps of the journal entries very well. He created, he created this story from the journals, but it was a bit too abrupt. It wasn't kind of well plotted out in my opinion just some thing like it was just things thrown at you I could just yeah anyway this is a ooh, three I think this is a three star that's all I can do right now glad it's done I did want to know and I'm the ending satisfied me but you know that's my opinion of conditions of faith so there you go at least in this vlog vlog i've wrapped up two books that i was supposed to have read last week there we go i might finish the vlog here actually while i'm in bed looking like this that's a good idea i have to go and finish my cooking and get a little bit more ready for camping and yeah hopefully this time there won't be a polar blast and crazy winds and I'll be able to um, vlog our polo cross weekend. I'll see you in the next vlog. Thanks for chatting with me. Thanks.